To many people, the term modern slavery suggests victims from abroad being trafficked here for forced labour. But the latest annual figures show that British people make up the biggest group subjected to exploitation. It's largely down to so-called county lines drugs running operations. A specific feature of this serious crime is known as cuckooing. It's when a vulnerable person's home is taken over by a drugs gang as a base for its operations. It's a cruel and violent practice, but it's not actually a crime itself, campaigners say. That must change. Understandably, it's hard to get victims to talk, but Julie has spoken to one woman about the shocking things that have happened to her. The brute battle against Britain's drugs gangs is relentless for forces across the country. Jack. But increasingly, the police are recognising that as well as criminals hiding behind closed doors, there are victims too, vulnerable people whose homes have been taken over by drugs gangs for their operations in a phenomenon known as cuckooing. He basically moved into your flat? Yep, and these little foot soldiers. Susan, not her real name, is a mother and grandmother and a recovering drug addict. One summer night, a drug dealer got into her flat, set up shop, effectively enslaving her and changing her life forever. He slept on the teenage, lay next to him on the floor. He'd get a piece of thinking, make crust of it. He was keeping me awake nearly 24 hours a day, running, selling drugs. I spoke a couple of times out of turn. I got bent with cigs on my arms. He cut my tongue. You cut your tongue. Mm hmm With a Stanley blade. And he says, the next time I speak without permission, I cut my tongue out. What was it like to live under those conditions? You just exist. And you're numb to everything around you. But these people that are taking your life, exploiting it to make money for themselves and make your life a living hell. It was a full year before police rescued Susan from her situation. If you do need anything, you need any help, we can, we're always a good point of call. We in a different county, in the face of rising incidences of cuckooing, police are adapting their approach to community patrols, keeping an eye on those most at risk of exploitation. All big towns and cities have an issue with uh, county lines and cuckooing. The two go hand in hand. It's not just about those vulnerable people who absolutely need our help and protection from exploitation. It's about working hard to get the people up at the top of the tree who are the exploiters and taking them uh, into the judicial system. But currently, cuckooing, the taking over of another's home, is not a specific criminal offence. It means that data on its prevalence is not routinely kept. One snapshot in one week across England and Wales last year revealed nearly 800 homes cuckooed. It's thought thousands could be affected. Charities and campaigners now want this addressed in the government's new modern slavery bill. It's very hard to understand what's happening right now beyond the anecdotal cases. So we contacted 43 forces, only seven of them gave us data. Cuckooing is absolute torture. The safest place you should have is a home. They're tortured, they're abused physically, sexually, mentally. They are kept as slaves in their own home behind front doors. For Susan, her story should be a wake-up call. Take these little blinkers off and start helping people instead of walking down the road. She speaks from a place of freedom, not just for herself, but for the hundreds trapped by cuckooing whose voices can't be heard. Julie Etchingham, News at 10.